Hey guys, it's Lexi. So uh, prepare for the world's weirdest when I melted slash empties. It's not even empties. It would just be like what I melted video. This is going to be literally the str like it's going to be beyond weird um, because I'm not going to pull out all of the bags. Um, let me just explain. If you guys watched my last week's Rose Girls mini melter like melting basket challenge video, you know that I really put my um, my nose in your hands and I asked you guys to give me blends to try and melt and then at the end of this week I would share my thoughts with you guys so I literally did exactly that I went through and if you guys commented um I really I saw a couple of you guys commenting a little bit later so I think I missed out on like one person's blend and I tried so hard to melt at least one of the options from each person. Um, I think I might've missed one and I'm really, really sorry. Um, but I went through one day and I wrote down everyone's blends with everyone's YouTube names. Um, and I, you know, would like put, cross them out when I would melt them or like star them if I haven't melted one of that person's creations. And I, I really did try. Um, I did miss out on a lot, but um, I was, it was kind of a challenging week for me. So fun fact, Tom had been on a uh, trip. He went on like a bike race trip on a vacation side. So if you guys don't want to know this, it's going to be a little bit of a chatty video, especially because I don't have anything to show you. Because if, if you guys are not interested, you can just skip ahead. I, I don't mind. Um, but Tom went on a bike race trip. So he was away on vacation. He did kind of like injure his knee. So he came home from the trip early. So when he came home, there was a bit of like, K not chaos, but like one whole day that he was, I was helping him like unpack the van and like do all the stuff and like kind of getting everything back in order. And then the, that night I ended up having to go over to my friend's house to watch their dogs and cat that I am like, and I'm house sitting for them um, while they are gone on a trip to Florida right now. So this entire week I'm still going to be, they live one street over. So this entire week I'm going to be staying at their house. I brought warmers over for loaf week and for the like Thursday, Thursday night, Friday, and today is Saturday. I have been um, working on melting things over there. However, they don't have a ton of outlets available. Um, they're big like, tech people. So they have like tons of like all of their like Alexas plugged in and like all of their other devices. So I'm, there's a big lack of like outlets for me to plug in warmer. So I have also been like a little bit, there's a challenge for me for, for that reason. So for that reason, this challenge became like a little bit harder on top of already kind of being a challenging challenge, if that makes sense. Um, so that's all of my backstory explanation on why I wasn't able to get to everyone's blends. Um, but I will say this, I have everyone's blends written down. So even if I don't get to them now, I am going to try my hardest to get to every single blend that you guys created for me because I am so thankful that you guys, you know, went ahead and did create some blends for me to try out because I love the interaction and I thought this was super, super fun. So thank you guys so much if you did create a blend for me and I will let you guys know exactly what I thought. So I'm not gonna share bags because that would be a lot of like me lifting bags and it would just be chaotic. So I will share what I did. So let's start off with um, my first day, which was Sunday. So Sunday, um, I have a, uh, my house is kind of separated into different melting sections. So my living room, I have three warmers going currently. In my kitchen, I have two, sometimes three warmers going currently. And then in my bedroom and my two bedroom, my bedroom and my bathroom, bedrooms, two bedrooms, one bathroom, I have one warmer each. So there's that. Um, so I have each of these days, Sunday through today separated and where I melted each thing and whose blend they were. This is gonna get really confusing. I'm so sorry. If you guys are following this, <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, so Sunday in my living room, I melted Desi J's blend, which was marshmallow smoothie, strawberry birthday cake and caramel, which is um, caramel, I can't remember. It's like um, the caramel blend from Rose Girls. So that I remember being a beautiful blend. However, if I was to go back and try it again, I would add a lot more of the strawberry because I felt like 
the richness from the marshmallow smoothie and the caramel, um, whatever the caramel scent is, kind of overtook because they're such heavy, rich scents. Um, but I loved the like whole idea. I would just add more strawberry next time, I, but that was my own blending. Um, but that was really interesting. So that one for me, I don't know if it was because there were so many things blended together that it didn't last quite as long. I did notice, oh, my light's changing again. Sorry, you guys. I did notice that with some of these blends, the less that I had, like the less um, amount of cubes that I had to cut um, or like the less, you know, if, you, if there were four different scents, those ones didn't usually perform as long as the ones that had like just two scents blended. I don't know. I don't know why that happened, but I did notice that that was a thing that happened this past week. Um, but I really, really did like that blend. So, and I think I have a few more from Desi J. Yeah, I have three, uh, two more that I tried from Desi J. Thank you so much for that suggestion. It was really fun. So in the kitchen on Sunday, I tried Beth's uh, blend of sweet lemon confection and waffle cone and vanilla ice cream. And that was really incredible. So Beth has um, really pushed me to try the serendipity and waffle cone. And I have tried that before, so I didn't melt it this week, but I did want to try her other blend which I really thought just reminded me of like a lemon sorbet ice cream kind of on like a freshly made waffle cone. And I really, really like that. So sometimes sweet, sweet lemon confection, that mini melter can come across even slightly like lemon cleaner y but mixed with the ice cream, it really made it sweeter. And I love that one. So that one lasted quite a long time. I feel like that one, I even had it going the next day for a little while. So also overall performance, I I wasn't surprised by this because I've noticed that Rose Girls does very, very well for me in my home. Um, I'm, very, I'm very happy with that. Um, that's why I have so much Rose Girls. But I, I know some people have commented that sometimes it's like bakery, they kind of get less of a performance from, but I had, oh my God. This week, you guys, I normally change out my melters twice or once. So like I'll have it going in the morning, I'll change it out at night. But each of these, I had this, the melt that I put in in the morning lasted me the whole day. And then even I could smell some of them going the next day. Bath, that was one that I could smell going the next day. It was a very strong performer. So in my bathroom on Sunday, I had Drew, or my bedroom on Sunday, I had Drew's scent, which was peaches and cream, waffle cone, and raspberry sauce. Oh my God. All I have to say is Jenny's raspberry sauce. I need to get some more of that because... I have one cube left and I'm gonna be like, I don't wanna get rid of it, it was so good. That blend, oh, it made me hungry. I like would walk in my bedroom and I would be like, oh, I gotta eat a snack, I gotta go get a snack. Um, because it just smelled like like a peach, and her peaches and cream, it is good. That is a really good mini melter too. But blended with the raspberry, it was like tart and fruity, and it smelled like a summertime, like tart kind of a thing like something that you would almost like the waffle cone almost was less of like an ice cream note but more of like almost like a crumble or something that you would have on like a dessert like a like a, a raspberry peach crumble almost is what it reminded me of blended all together it was fantastic i love that scent and that one did last me quite a while as well so that one i melted the entire day and then i did pull it out the next morning but i was like i don't want to pull it out it smelled so good um, in the bed, in the bathroom, I melted Amy's Green Apple and Rain. Another one I loved. You guys are awesome at picking out blends and making blends because those were knockouts. So I don't know if the Green Apple and Rain has been blended together before. Maybe it was in the Rain Sampler. I don't know. I regret not getting that Rain Sampler now back when that was available because I am obsessed with all of the Rain blends that I tried this week. They are so good. The green apple note is such a tart green apple that blended with the rain. It made it into this like fresh outdoor in the spring kind of vibe. Slightly, it kind of slightly reminded me of like a green apple shampoo that you would use as a kid growing up, but I loved it. And that one also lasted so long. And um, her rain oil just on its own is a very, very strong performer, which I love. So. Next time she has any rain scents available, and if you guys haven't tried them, you guys know I love kissing in the rain, but I, I honestly, I think just her rain oil, I think I just love. It's so good. So Amy, green apple and rain, amazing. Thank you for suggesting that. I loved that. 
Um, in my guest bedroom, I have um, Lizzie Liz, and it is apple fritter and um, booberry. I think it was apple fritter and booberry. I wrote bakery. I don't know why I wrote that. It was apple fr fritter and booberry. And that one I was honestly most nervous about because I'm not usually huge on that booberry oil. But they did like this kind of a cool thing because I really do like apple and blueberry scents combined. So this was a bit of a twist on that. This was like a spicy apple fritter mixed with like that booberry cereal blend. And it smelled good. It definitely, I wish now I would have had added more of the blueberry because the apple fritter was it overtook a little bit more of that, but I think I was so scared of the blueberry, I put like half of a cube in that in. But I think you could have went full blend and it would have been really good. Um, very interesting, very interesting. Kind of spicy, it kind of reminded me of like, like a, like a spiced, like a spiced bakery, but there was something that was like sweeter about it. It was almost like, how do I describe this? It was like a candied, apple and like a spiced it was like a, a cru I don't even know how to describe it. it kind of smelled like a if you had like a candiedness to a apple crumble dessert like a blueberry apple crumble dessert but there was like a candiness to it I don't know I think that that blueberry note is like a candied kind of scent but very interesting anyway and I'm very happy that I tried it out because I probably would have just never have used any of that blueberry oil on its own. So happy that I did. So thank you, Lizzie Liz. So the next day was Monday and the living room scent was K Marie Plans and that it was Nilla Noel, Mango Sorbet and Serendipity. This was honestly one of my favorites because that Mango Sorbet, I am realizing I love mango. I love Mango Sorbet and wax. And Serendipity is also a classic favorite of mine. It's like that rich, creamy, coconutty, like cherry vanilla scent. <gasps> you guys, it smelled like the most delicious mango dessert ever. Like rich, creamy, sweet, juicy. I love that. That was a favorite. And that one lasted. I literally pulled that out half of like through Tuesday, like half the day I pulled it out and finally switched it because I did not want to pull that one out. I loved it. So thank you very much. Love that. In my kitchen, Jessica Miller's scent was strawberry shortcake and lemon cookies. Beautiful blend. Strawberry, lemon, you literally can't go wrong. I really did like that scent. Um, it smelled to me kind of like, kind of like Fruit Loopy, but like I loved it. I think like it was just like a bright, bright fruity scent. So it kind of gave me like, like cereal vibes, but like a Fruit Loop cereal. I really liked it. I definitely would do that again. I definitely would do like lemons. There were a couple other like lemon strawberry kind of blends, um, but I thought like this one was a really great one. So I'm super happy that I tried that. Um, also Jessica Miller in my bedroom, I put her blend, which was Serendipity and Birthday Cake. My goodness gracious, I love that as well. Um, that one, I feel like was definitely more of just like a super, super creamy kind of vanilla scent. But if you guys want like a heightened vanilla, definitely try Serendipity and Birthday Cake. I do suggest trying that one out. That was awesome. Um, another, I was feeling the mango this day, you guys, because in my bathroom, I had mango sorbet and speechless. And this was a scent that wasn't any, anyone's like custom, but I just wanted to try it because it was available in the last ready to ship but I did not pick it up because I realized that I had both of those mini melters. So I was like, let me just try it on my own. I loved it. Um, I really do think that knowing what I know now, I would put less of the speechless oil and more of the, or speechless wax and more of the mango sorbet because speechless is such a strong scent. It kind of overtook the mango, but I did like the blend. I would just moving forward, I would try that. Um, but if you guys pick that up in the ready to ship, let me know how the blend is actually like the Jenny blended because I feel like it'd probably be incredible. Um, guest bedroom, I had uh, Desi J again and I tried raspberry slushy and whipped cream. Kind of like the same as the blueberry, the blueberry oil. Um, if you guys can tell, I put the ones that I was most nervous about in my guest bedroom. And I'm not huge on that raspberry slushy oil, but I feel like with the whipped cream blended with the raspberry slushy, it really did help it a ton. So um, I don't know if it was like a favorite of mine, but I think if I had to blend it with anything that that was a really good choice because it was, it added like a creaminess and kind of like helped tone down the, a little bit of like that floraliness that I get from that blue raspberry slushy scent and helped kind of just like cream it out. Um, so that was 
a very good, helpful thing to blend it with. So I think I probably will end up de-stashing my Blue Raspberry Slushy actual oil itself, just like wax itself, because I don't love that one. But I'm really happy that I did try that one out. Um, on Tuesday, so Tuesday I melted two scents in my living room. I switched these out midday. First was Desi J's. Oh, I'm realizing I had a lot of Desi J's scents. So thank you, Desi J. Um, you must have spoke to me. Um, so she had Nilla Noel and Peaches and Cream. I loved it. It was just like a really nice classic creamy bakery peach scent. Could not go wrong with that. Also, I really think her Nilla Noel, like cubes are really good, strong bakery scents. And that honestly is pretty old, my Nilla Noel bag, but it was a really good, strong performer. I could definitely smell that with the peaches and cream. And then in halfway through the day, I melted Jessica D's Lexi Goes Loco, which that one was, let me see if I can find that. I think it's on here. Yeah, so that is opposite of keto, green apple and raspberry sauce. Like I mentioned, that raspberry sauce oil, obsessed. If Jenny brings that back, I definitely need more of that scent. It is so rich. It's kind of tart, but it's very realistic. Um, does not smell like a perfumey raspberry. It smells like a real raspberry like sauce, like um, like a jam, like a raspberry jam. Oh, it's really, really good. So I love that blend. Um, and the opposite of keto was an, I like that. It was kind of different. It was like, it did kind of also smell like a bit of like a crumble, but yeah, it was really, really good. I like that blend a lot. So thank you very much, Jessica D. So what was the other one I had? Okay. In the kitchen, I had Slurp and Sweet Lemon Confection from Kelsey Wise. And that one just smelled like a heightened Slurp because I think Slurp has lemon in it. It's like a cereal blend. So it was just like a extra, extra lemony, like cereal type scent. I really liked it. Uh, my be uh, bathroom, no, bedroom, I had Vanilla Sandalwood and Woolen Blanket from K. Marie. And um, that one I, I did really like, but I feel like the woolen blanket oil kind of overtook the vanilla sandalwood. So moving forward, I probably would have did like half a cube of the vanilla or half a cube of the woolen blanket and more of the vanilla sandalwood. But it was a very interesting blend and I really did like that a lot. Um, I, I had another one that I'll share with you at like lat from yesterday with the same similar kind of oils going on. Um, so on Tuesday in my bathroom, I had Kathy's mom requested Kissing in the Rain and Speechless. I really liked that. Um, I thought the Speechless kind of overtook the Kissing in the Rain. It's so interesting. I, I wasn't even sure when I was melting these, like if I should cut less or should cut more. A lot of these that were like just two cents, I just popped the entirety of it in. So I felt like it kind of helped show me what fragrances um, were stronger than the other. Uh, speechless is so strong, so, so, so strong. Um, and I really wish I would have put more of the Kissing in the Rain in it, but I did really like that blend. I think there's already rain in Speechless, possibly, but yeah, very happy that I was able to try that one out. It was a very, very clean, like bright, fruity scent um, with like some aquaticness in it. In my guest bedroom, I think it is printed out the YouTube, YouTube channel, our name is called Seraphony. Seraphony, maybe? Seraphony? Ser I don't know. Um, I'm very sorry if I messed it up. Let me know how to pronounce that. Um, but she wanted me to melt pear and birthday cake. That scent lasted forever. Like that scent literally like it kept going and going and going. I felt like I finally changed out the guest bedroom at the very end of Wednesday, the, the full next day because I could still smell it. And that was a really, really, really good blend. Um, I definitely suggest trying out pear and birthday cake if you guys haven't. I'm gonna try a lot more of her birthday cake blended with different things because that got me super excited. Um, definitely smelled like like more of a juicy, fruity baker, like a juicy, fruity kind of cake scent. I was nervous that the pear would, I don't know. I, I There wasn't obviously any, like cinnamon blended in it but sometimes pear kind of reminds me of like fall but this one kind of just like smelled like a like a fruity fluffy cake like imagine if you had a white cake and you soaked it in like pear juice and you put pears on top it was very interesting very strong really good so that was from seraphony i think so wednesday uh seralytic i think is how you pronounce it she wanted me to try cake by the ocean but instead of the key lime pie she wanted me to melt it with blackberry not the key lime I loved that. That was amazing. 
I will say for some reason, the cake by the ocean on its own, I've heard from like Beth that it doesn't last very long. And I felt like this one didn't last very long either. It kind of like once the other scents kind of fizzled, it was more of the blackberry scent, but I loved that blackberry and I was very happy to have tried that. Um, in my kitchen, I have Brie Wicks Cotton Candy Frosting Slurp and Strawberry Jam. That one now moving forward, I wish I would have done more of the strawberry jam because the slurp kind of took over. Slurp is a very, 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 very strong oil, um, but I did really like the blend. I just wish I would have had more of the strawberry in it because I felt like that was a really good, like a heightened sweet strawberry, like cereal type of scent. Um, and then Gradient Colors is the YouTube name. She suggested I try Gilligan's Brew and Vanilla Sandalwood. I put that one in my bedroom. That one kind of smelled like something that I would imagine on like a Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I don't know why. I think maybe it was the vanilla sandalwood mixed with like the coconut and the Gilligan's brew, but it smelled like a tropical island to me or like, yeah, it just smelled like tropical to me, but like an outdoor, like beachy tropical or like the, the smell that you get when you go through like Pirates of the Caribbean ride, it set like that similar vibe. So very interesting. Um, I liked it, but it definitely is something I would want to melt like in the summer months because it gave me those summertime vibes. Uh, Beth suggests, or no, Seraphini again, sorry, suggested rain and blackberry. And that one I do have in one single bag that is already pre-blended. So I threw that one in my bathroom and that one is literally still going today and I can somewhat smell it. It needs to be pulled. Um, today is Saturday. Um, but yeah, I, and I've been at, you know, my friend's house. So I hadn't had the warmers on here, even though Tom has been here, he probably could have turned on, but it's been off for a little bit. It's kind of fizzled out by now, but it was a really, really good blend. And that one is like, I think has come out a few times now, but I really did like that scent. Um, and then I have Jen Glitter suggested me, uh, suggested I try Slurp and Satsuma. That was interesting. Um, definitely Satsuma was super, super strong. That's like that really juicy, orange scent. I love Satsuma. If Satsuma comes back and mini melters on its own, I'll definitely pick that up. Mixed with Slurp, it was just like a really bright fruity scent. Um, and then, so Thursday, like I said, everything that was left in the warmers from Wednesday, I just continued to melt. Okay, and then finally, Natalie Cunningham, she suggested I do vanilla sandalwood, all nighter, and woolen blanket. And I did actually bring that scent to my friend's house when I was dog sitting. I loved the combination of all of those. And now that I knew that woolen blanket was so strong, I used half of a cube of that one. So I used half a cube of woolen blanket, one cube of all nighter and one cube of vanilla sandalwood. And it was definitely much more well balanced, I thought. Um, but I really, really liked that. It smelled kind of like a, like a hot man. I don't know. I really liked that. It was a good vibe. Thank you, Natalie. I loved that. And then I also had Susan Fitzpatrick. She suggested I try Lexi's Living Life, which was opposite of keto, carbs, and raspberry sauce. I really liked that blend. The raspberry sauce, you guys, I'm obsessed with. It is so good. So the raspberry was the strongest for me and definitely like lasted the longest, even out of like the bakery scents. But um, I think the carbs kind of showed like was stronger than the opposite of keto because the opposite of keto had a little bit of like a cinnamony type of scent to it but the carbs was definitely more of like the rich bakery scent i really liked it and that was an awesome blend so i'm very happy to try it there were a few more that i didn't get to um strawberry ray i didn't get to the pear and ooey gooey caramel and carbs i am going to eventually get to that one and i will let you know what i think but that was all that I finished up this week. I know this video is like the gonna be the weirdest thing ever, but if you guys watched it and if you gave me suggestions to try, thank you guys so much. I really did have such a great time with this. Uh, and then although I did not finish anything, I still feel like this was a really good accomplishment, accomplishment for me because I hadn't been touching those bags and I really needed to get to those. So how did you guys do on this vendor week challenge? Who did you melt? Did you enjoy it? How was your overall experience? And I'll let you guys go. Have a great day. Bye.